I couldn't breathe. Eight, my vision was ten, blurry. I am lucky having a panic ten. attack on the inside. Finally, he gets to me. He gets to me, and I am too afraid to look at this man in his eye. What's good, everybody? Before we get this show on the way, I just want to express my love and appreciation for y'all. Hey, yo, appreciate you for 4K, man. Yes, you, the viewer. Thank you for 4K. I didn't have time to shout y'all out on my last video, so I'm doing it now. And speaking of newcomers, it's about like over 80% of you guys are watching this not subscribed. So do y'all boy a favor, hit the like button, hit the bell, and hit the subscribe button. Because you know YouTube will be acting funny sometimes, you know what I'm saying? So do all that so you don't miss a thing. All right, now let's get it. Thank so today, everybody of every color and shape, we're going to talk about the worst punishment I received from my teacher. We talked about the punishment I received from daddy, the worst punishment we received from mommy, and now it's time to talk about the disciplinarian himself. Let's get into it. This story, of course, took place back in Haiti, the place of my mischievous past. Some could argue I came to America to turn over a new leaf. I am a reform a troublemaker. I had to be around eight and seven years old. I had just transferred from a private school to a public school. Now. I I technically transferred from a private school to another private school, but this private school was different, I right? It gave me public school vibes. Here's what I mean by that. In my previous private school, we only spoke French, all right? It was forbidden to speak in the native language of Creole, because if they catch you, you catch a detention or something. But in this school, it was also forbidden, but they didn't seem to care that much. And also, these kids spoke Creole religiously, bro. Like, it was nothing. Meanwhile, I wasn't even allowed to speak Creole at my own crib. That's how strict my mom was, my nigga. Like, she wanted the best for her kids. So when I opened my mouth trying to be friendly with these kids on some... Bonjour, comment allez-vous? <laughs> <laughs> I quickly realized I I was the odd one out. Cause here's the thing, speaking French where I'm from is the equivalent of somebody's talking proper English to someone talking slang. You get what I'm saying? So in that regards, they look at you as if your head is so far up your ass that you think you're better than them. I.e. you're a square, you're bougie, you're a nerd. But eventually some time passes and I learn how to adapt. I even started to talk slang if you catch my drift now the teacher i didn't have too much problem with the man i obeyed every single instructions of him i did his homework passed all the tests uh, had good grades i was more or less a good boy despite of my mischievous nature but all of that changed on that day because that day ladies and gentlemen marks one of the most painful moments of my life i had a near-death experience is what i'm trying to say it really traumatized me so one day while the teacher was teaching the class per usual we stumbled upon a poem it was one of those literature poems that had no value to your life just like the quadratic formula and this nigga must have loved this poem so much to the point that he assigned us to study it for the next morning and immediately there was a search circuit in my brain because i couldn't fathom study a poem that was 14 lines long for tomorrow morning i hated studying to begin with i am praying to the lord he doesn't go through with this stupid idea because whenever he assigns an assignment he writes it on the board and we the students we write it down in our homework agenda the day is going by and i don't see him writing anything on the board about the poem i'm looking at the other students and none of them see Seems to be writing this shit down also so i'm like okay maybe it's not that serious maybe i'm safe fast forward to later that night as i'm doing my homework i'm flipping the pages i stumble upon the same poem from this morning bruh no he didn't write it on the board so that doesn't make it in an assignment plus he'll probably forget about it tomorrow so i'm looking at the poem the poem is looking at me and then i close the book yeah that ish ain't happening So the next morning, I am there chilling with my classmates. I did all my homework. Everybody's just chilling. It's just a good time. The day is going by and everything is all good. That wasn't until the Eggman stops in the middle of his teaching. And then he goes, oh yeah, that's right. Everybody line up. Time to recite the poem. Have you ever felt like you ain't shit, bruh? That's what it felt like in this moment. It felt like my heart took a major dump in my stomach. I felt heavy. Now, I'm really going to feel like the odd one now. I had just started to familiarize myself with these kids. Now that I'm the only one who doesn't know this poem, I'm going to be the laughing stock. I'm going to lose my street cred. I am looking around me to see if there's anybody else who doesn't know this poem. Because, let's be honest, y'all been in this situation before, right? In a situation where you don't want to be embarrassed by yourself. I do not want to be the only culprit in this mess. I do not want to be in this sinking ship by myself somebody please take the fall with me i'm looking around the class and these kids look confident bro like am i really the only one who didn't do his homework 
So the first student gets up and she's starting to recite the poem beautifully, as if she was singing a song. But when she gets at the bottom of the poem, everybody of Vivi call her and ship. She stopped. She only knew 80% of the poem. And that, everybody of Vivi call her and ship, was enough to give me a little bit of hope. It wasn't much, but it was just enough. You could clearly see the disappointment in the teacher's face. Meanwhile, I'm over here celebrating like, yes, yes, I am not alone in this godforsaken book. Alright, copy this poem twice for me and I have your parents sign it. Next. Next. Wait, what? No, no, oh my god, this cannot be happy. This cannot be happening. Did he just, did he just gi give, did he just told her to write the poem down twice? Hey, y'all remember when I said it felt like my heart took a dump in my stomach? Bro, my whole body was shaking, but I had to maintain it because I didn't want to look like a in front of all these kids. It felt like I was in the presence of Fujitora. You know, the One Piece character with the gravity abilities? Yes. Because I felt heavier and heavier by the moment. Now, nah, scratch that. It felt like I was in the presence of a Shinigami with a high spiritual pressure. Bleach fans, stand up. October 2022. Save the date. I am not sponsored, by the way. So then my teacher proceeded with his next victim. The second student gets up and starts reciting the poem beautifully. But halfway through this shit, he stops. He only knew 50% of the poem. Yeah, bro, I am shaking telling this story. I want y'all to understand the anxiety, how anxious I was in this, bruh. <laughs> I can't. This nigga only knew 50% of the poem and then the teacher went, oh, ho oh, oh, okay. You, sir, uh, copy the poem five times for me and uh, have your parents sign it by tomorrow, please and thank you. Yo, if these niggas' numbers are already high as it is and they only know a portion of the poem, how is me going to fare better than them? I have a big as zero percent in my forehead. Alright, bro, this is by far the worst memory. One of them, at least. So, for the next few minutes, all I heard was numbers. Five, and with each number, four, the spiritual three, pressure two, was getting worse, ten, okay? Ten, I couldn't breathe. Eight, my vision was ten, blurry. I am looking six, having a panic ten. attack on the inside finally he gets to me he gets to me and i am too afraid to look at this man in his eyes and with the big ass zero stomp in my forehead there was no rocket science no he clearly saw i did not know shit about this poem i was fresh meat you since you don't know nothing about this piece of literature not even the title of the poem copy it for me time and have your parents sign it for tomorrow please and thank you Find out on the next episode of West Mario how many times I had to copy this poem and what were the repercussions. I did not have time to animate the rest of this video. Let me know in the comments below what was the worst punishment you received from your teacher. Like, share, and subscribe. I love you. Bye.